Hello traders, welcome to today's video, Thursday the 29th of February 2024. This is your Bitcoin update. Bitcoin is at $62,500. We are, as we speak, just holding that daily open and uh, riding around about the VWAP on the day so far. After we had a pretty decent uh, bounce from the big flush that was put in yesterday. So obviously we got that blow off top. Um, very, very likely that you come back up towards to test the top of it. And then are we looking at a situation where we come back down and fill the wick? Or are we looking now at seeing some more continuation? So I think much depends on what we see here, uh, the reaction that we get from here. So I have this morning taken a short position uh, because basically, okay, you come back in from a five minute time frame. We basically just went into this order block at the top. Okay, so the last point in which there's, I guess, that supply uh, that's there within this, everything that's being internal, uh, this resistance here acting as resistance and so far getting a move down to the daily open. So once we've had that blow off top, it becomes a bit more of a, a relaxing, chilled uh, market to trade. Yesterday was very, very difficult. Okay, it was just impulsive. Uh, and now we've gone, we've dropped back into something that resembles a bit more of just actual trading, like technical trading going on here, <coughs> which is quite nice. So yeah, I uh, have taken the short position, have taken profit at VWAP and daily open, and I would be considering a long to come up and take the highs here. Now, what I want to see locally is essentially what we have with this is this corrective move down. Okay, lower highs, lower lows. I would like to see this get a bit of a break back up towards that 63,000 and then I'd probably look for this to go floating up and back up taking out those highs once again uh, that we put in yesterday and then again I think I would, pro would probably target a short and then it starts to look at you can be looking at fibs and levels lower uh, so yeah for me um, had that short position I do think that we can come up and take this and then I do think that we can just have this as a bit more of a range um, looking at mainly altcoins being the better plays at the moment and just trading this range as it is which is a, an incredibly nice um, what it's given us is a 10% range to play with so lots of money within this range to be made and lots of probably very straightforward trades as well. So yeah, SFP at the highs is something I'd be targeting. And then if this does drop further, I am targeting single prints that we have down here. So on the 30 minute time frame, there is a single print here. And this just takes you down to that 61K level as an internal level for a bounce. I would imagine that this would be enough to give you like a, a bit more of like a consolidation. And then maybe we go for the wick. I would anticipate you take the high first and, and get something a bit more like this. Okay. Um, however, uh, yeah, if we do drop down first, then maybe a bit more consolidation and then we either go for the, for the highs or the lows. So ideally you want to see the top, um, taken first for myself, uh, which would give nicer trades from here. If this does start to drop, it may give a little bit of a reaction, but I would then, I would then look at like acceleration to the downside. So the more, the more relaxed, refined approach to trading comes from up, then trade in the middle and then trade down towards the bottom. <clears throat> uh, other than that, we may have some fibs that start to line up. So let's say if we do come and take these highs, okay, you can see right now, right, you've got, you could go high to low, be looking at the move down there. But if this does extend higher and we end up maybe like 40, 64, 800, 65K, uh, then that golden pocket lines up really well. We also have to be aware of the POC. So if you are in short positions from above or long positions from below, then you would be targeting that POC as a point in which to take profit. So yeah, that really is like the, yeah, that's Bitcoin for now. Um, have taken a short, now looking for a long. We'll take a short if we take the highs. We'll take longs if we take 61K. We'll take longs if we take 58K. Uh, it's really, 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 really easy. Um, and if it doesn't play out, then that's trading. So yeah. Uh, as for the rest of the market, everything very green again today. I did put out a tweet after we had that big blow off top. I was like, we're going to see some God candles on alts. And we absolutely have done. Um, I managed to catch some really, really nice 
bids on altcoins and they are doing very well we've gone from the uh the memes of uh pepe and whiff and doge yesterday to now bonk and shiba inu taking over um so still meme coins doing really doing like yeah leading leading this charge right now but there's uh like avax had a really nice bounce injective had a really nice bounce uh atom had a really nice bounce and all of these are up on the day as well so render another one a uh, really nice bounce from render and yeah um everything looking pretty good aptos had a really good bounce but is um, not managed to sustain that so far looking at the order flow it's as you would expect okay there were a ton of liquidations yesterday um so both long and short liquidations so you liquidate all of the short positions and then you immediately come through and liquidate a ton of longs that have been building through this range here which is just hilarious um just don't get over leveraged when there's a move like this it's just ridiculous if you do and you're just asking for trouble um because there's so much more opportunity when it, it starts to form in like drop into a range like it is now uh locally nothing really to to add okay open interest hasn't started rising so we can just expect fairly relaxed trading environment for a while until that open interest starts to increase until we see some cvd that is not just doing the same as what price is okay you see cvd is just dropping down slightly price is just dropping down slightly um and open interest is relatively flat so nothing too much to say there um the only thing that i would say is that spot is still holding very well and spot is now uh, higher than it was yesterday so is that going to be is that a divergence that we're seeing from spot where there's still a lot of buying going on here and perps most of this correction has been perps led obviously it was liquidation run um uh, however like if you actually take out the the blow off top type of thing um so if we do just take off our cvd <clears throat> and we look at what price was doing basically like this whole section here in the chart was just uh leverage like take out leverage shorts take out leverage longs continue as normal now if you actually zoom out and you look at just the the way that this is moving in like this remove this and then take a look at this and it's very much like what spot is doing okay you just much more calm price action essentially today being higher than it was yesterday with that final little blow off top type of thing maybe it's not the top but it was one of those like perps led moves um yeah just being a momentary pause and, and we are continuing on towards potentially all-time highs so you do have to be aware of that um like i say the the bigger move was perps led and spot is still holding well so does that mean that we are then targeting still uh higher so if we're looking over here we can see the macro resistance that we tapped into all right, so this essentially being, we had this gap on the daily time frame. There was not a close above it, which means that this is still resistance for now. Uh, above this, the red shaded section is a daily order block. So we came into the daily order block. We dropped down. We tapped back into the monthly level. So we're within this like just zone of essentially liquidity, okay? There's a gap in the chart here. It's acting as support right now, but this order block above is acting as resistance. So we like like I say, we do have this like big 10% range that is essentially between two key levels. And if price is just bouncing around within there, then that's actually like quite good, right? We we has had the the open inside, came back down this morning to test uh, basically the bottom of this all right uh, earlier this morning getting a rise up back into the top of that daily order block and if this does continue there really isn't any resistance um until all time high that's that's it we're, we're going to all time high if uh if we clear that 65k um just, just that's inevitable so yeah uh that's probably everything i have to say um Nothing too much more. I've taken a couple of trades on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ. You, I always love London session, just the reliability of London to take out Asia, <laughs> like Asia lows or um, to take out like previous day highs and lows and stuff. It's, it's really, really nice. <clears throat> um, but yeah, 
that's enough for me. I'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And yeah, have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.